everyone and welcome to my new Dolly paint video and today guys we're going to try something different today we're going to experiment because if you watch my videos sometimes then you know it of course that I mostly customize Barbie and monster high dolls sometimes I repaint rainbow high dolls sometimes I play with different kinds of dolls but in for sure in 95 to 97 percent of the cases on this channel I work on monster high and Barbie dolls and you know sometimes it's really good to change things sometimes it's good to experiment especially in art and that's why today we're going to try something different because I bought this absolutely adorable Tinkerbell doll from the Disney animators collection. I really love this collection of dolls They're kind of reimagining Disney princess characters as their younger self as kids uh, They're absolutely adorable I never repainted these dolls before and I also haven't seen that many doll artists customizing these dolls I know Anastasia customs working on Disney animators dolls but that's it probably, like, I don't have any other uh, personal <laughs> recollection of seeing other doll artists customizing this doll, so I think it will be a very interesting experiment. Actually, this doll is bigger than I expected it to be, I've never seen it in real life, just online, so I thought it would be kind of half of the size, but this is a really big and cute doll. I've chosen this Tinkerbell doll because I really love her face, she's so, so <laughs> cute little creature, I really love of her so I think it's gonna be fun let's experiment let's play with this doll let's repaint her face let's change her outfit I think it's gonna be fun and if you like this kind of makeovers then please let me know it in the comments under this video I will buy more of these Disney animators dolls and we will repaint all of them so this being said let's unbox this beautiful girl let's see what is inside of the box and let's start the transformation please guys of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos i upload new doll makeovers every week friday or every second week friday depends on the size of the project uh so yeah and please also don't forget to support my art here on youtube with your likes if you enjoy things that you see here things that i make on this channel and this being said let's start working so here is this adorable doll from clothes and I think she's just the cutest little girl in the world just her face her body absolutely adorable I don't have another word for it it's adorable really head to toe the shoes the dress the toy everything is super cute the wings are a little bit meh but they do their job they're okay her hair is glued with styling products, so let's perform my favorite knocking test. Yes, you can perfectly knock on her ponytail, beautiful. Oh, and here I have found a couple of strands of hair cut short in her bangs. It wasn't me, I cut nothing off yet. <laughs> I touched nothing with my scissors yet uh, so this is how it was good that it's underneath because I'm planning to keep her hair because there is nothing wrong with it otherwise and the rest is yeah the rest is super cute so let's give her a complete makeover and let's see what I can make out of her and for this I will undress her and I will remove her face with pure acetone to start
I've protected her hair body with kitchen plastic, sealed her face with Mr. Super Clear sealant, and now I'm ready to start drawing. So first of all, I want to add some shadows to her face. Not too much, but she will look kind of more alive if I add some extra dimension to her face. And I use soft pastels from the brand Pan Pastels to work on her skin tone. When the skin looks good, I take watercolor pencils and I start drawing her eyes. I want her to have huge blue eyes and I want them to be kind of quite dramatic. I like this aesthetic of a cute cartoonish little girl with huge dramatic eyes. So this is what I'm going for today and her lips I want to keep very natural, no lipstick for a young girl today.
After finishing the face, I'm slightly blushing her body because it looks kind of too flat next to the more realistic face, so I add some soft pastels to it as well. When the face and the body look good together, I can finally start working on her outfit. And I want to try to make something fun, something different, because look, her original dress is cute, but I think it's a little bit simple. I want it to be bigger, I want it to be puffier, with a bigger skirt, I want her to be like this little girl in a puffy dress, but the dress will be made out of leaves. I can actually use the top of this original dress, I think it will give me the good base and this purple bow and the skirt have to go. Okay, the deconstruction is finished, the top I will need later, but now let's make a new skirt. I've bought different kinds of ribbons for it, I think combining these different colors and textures will make this dress more interesting than just using one shade of green. So and first of all I want to make an underskirt out of this wide ribbon and I want it to be much bigger and much puffier than the original one. Yes, it will look nice and it will give a lot of volume to the things that will come on top of this skirt. And now I'm going to make a bunch of leaves using all sorts of ribbons that I have here. And I start with cutting out some leaves out of the widest ribbon. Now I will need a candle to melt the sides of the leaves and also the middle of it to shape them like real leaves. I can attach the finished leaves to the skirt and then I will repeat this process with other types of ribbons.
this is how it all looks. I think it's a very fun and cute looking skirt. I'm happy with the result. So now let's add a couple of leaves to the top and then I will connect the top and the skirt together. And guys, this is the finished dress. I think it looks absolutely amazing, really. I especially like the skirt. This volume is just amazing, 360 degrees around. Look how cute it is, really perfect dress for a little girl. So puffy, so green, beautiful, amazing, amazing, really happy about it. Uh, but now I still want to make a new pair of wings. For her, I want them to be more shiny. And for this, I will combine this piece of see-through plastic from some old doll packaging with this beautiful iridescent sticker foil. It's really stunning, I really love this uh, sticker. Very pretty, I think it will look good as her wings. Yes, it looks beautiful. There are some bubbles here and there, but it's difficult to avoid them completely. So now I can cut out the wings and then I will create lines on the wings using glue and holographic glitter. finished wings beautiful and shiny really blinding <laughs> these wings are really blinding they're like a mirror this iridescent effect is very pretty the holographic glitter is very pretty I've attached the wings to the green ribbon that I use as a belt for the dress but before I connect the wings to the doll I want to style her hair because I have a feeling that I will have to wash it Yeah, look, there is absolutely no chance to brush this hair without washing it. It's been just really glued together. But after washing, things are going easier, so I can recreate her cute tiny ponytail or like mix of a ponytail and a bun and also style her bangs. So this is how her hair looks in the end, very cute. Now we can finally attach false lashes, add gloss to her eyes and lips, and then we'll take a look at the end result pictures. So 
guys, this is my finished baby Tinkerbell. It was my first experience working on a doll from a Disney Animators collection. And you know what? It was fun. <laughs> I really enjoyed working on this project and I really like the end result. She still looks like herself, but everything is a little bit more extra. I really love her big and dramatic eyes. And the dress, uh, the dress is just my love, really. <laughs> one love for the dress. This is probably one of the cutest outfits I've ever made in my life. Really super adorable. And I also could perfectly see a real life little girl wearing this dress for some special event. Um, it's so big, so puffy. And I really love the combination of these different shades of green. Very happy about it. Very happy about the dress. And what do you guys think about this week's experiment. Do you want to see more Disney Animators dolls on my channel? I don't know, I think Snow White is very cute. I could customize her as well if you're interested. So please let me know in the comments what you think and if you want to buy this doll you can find her on eBay. She's available for sale for three days and you can find the link to it in the description box under this video. So guys, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you enjoyed it today and if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes of course subscribe to my channel hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos and i will see you in my next video in two weeks on friday and now have a nice weekend love you guys bye